Back in February, we told you the story of Renee and Mary. They're half-sisters who found one another through genetic testing. As Local 3's Rebecca Bartlemy tells us tonight, the two sisters have now met in person. It's a moment Renee Carlson and Mary Triller will never forget. After about 60 years of being separated, the half-sisters met in person. She said, I'm coming. <laughs> I was like, oh, yay. Rewind to just about six months ago, and the two of them were total strangers. They met thanks to 23andMe. They both have the same father, and Renee had been searching for her sister for years. Her daughter, Carrie, submitted her information. Mary, who was adopted, used 23andMe to find out her medical history. She never expected to find her sister through this. Since finding each other, the sisters instantly connected. We were talking on the phone often, like a couple to three times a week. And each time it was a good hour, you know, so we're getting to know each other right. over the phone and just finding out our similarities and how our lives just almost have paralleled. And um, so it's just been kind of an amazing experience, surreal at the same time. Mary came to Iron River on Saturday, and now the two are committed to making up for lost time. Last night, which would have been their father's birthday, Renee held a party to welcome Mary and her husband Miguel into the family, even though it feels like it's always been that way. It, and now it, it kind of feels natural. It, it kind of feels natural. It kind of feels like I've known you for a long time. It, it really does. It really does. Yeah. It feels the same to me. If your dad was still alive, you know, what do you think he would say about this? Oh my gosh. I, that would have been amazing. I did ask him for help to find her. I mean, I, I saw on a show, a medium said, if you want to ask a loved one anything, ask them out loud. So I asked my dad, I said, hey dad, I said, you got to help me here. I said, I'm not finding her. I said, I, I don't think I am going to be able to find her without your help. And I, I believe that in my heart that he did because around the same time was when something bugged this. me to do the 23 and me. I think he's looking down and he's very happy. I think he is. Yeah. I can almost feel him. Mary will leave Iron River on Thursday for her 1600 mile journey back to Colorado. But the two will reunite very soon. At the end of the month, Renee and her husband will travel to Colorado and spend some time with them there. Reporting in Iron River, Rebecca Bartlemy, Local 3 News. And if you'd like to watch the entire pieces that we've done previously about Renee and Mary, you can look for this story 